Sports fans are gearing up at Interstate Sports, your home for officially licensed fan gear. We have jerseys, custom frames, team signs, draft tumblers, and more. For every sports fan's needs, visit interstatesportsgifts.com. The good. The bad. The ugly. The Miami Hurricanes take an unbelievable loss to the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets in a crazy ending. Could have all been solved with just a simple knee. This is the Good, Bad, and Ugly film review. Let's get right into it. The Good. Before we get into the good, just to let you know, this video has been demonetized by YouTube due to the footage that we use. So please, only thing I'm asking for is a like, share, and subscribe as we're on the road to 37,000 subscribers, as well as check out interstatesportsgifts.com, the sponsor for this show for all of your sports memorabilia needs. All the information is right in the description. This is the good. Let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Get to see what's going on here. 13-15 in the first quarter, Miami has the ball. Let's see what's going on. Great run right here by Henry Parrish. Here's what I like about it. Let's talk about it. He gets the run, right? But look at this seal block up here. He's going to give my man the business right here with the one, two. Excuse me. Got to go. Great run right there by Henry Parrish. Kick this game off. And they in the Miami Knight uniforms. Oof. All right, here we go. Third and four. 11-31 in the first quarter. Great throw right here. I put this down as good because as you look at this thing develop out of a bunch set, he finds Xavier Restrepo, his go-to guy, right at the sticks. This is what makes X good. Remember, they can't see that yellow line. Only people on TV. And look where he is, right on the line, going there for the, for, uh, for the first down to convert. Great job. Second and seven, 833. Now on defense, you're going to see something exciting right here. This is what I love. Look at this play right here, man. Big Leonard Taylor. I talked about him. He needed a breakout game. Boom. Super explosive, right? Doesn't necessarily make the tackle, but he makes the play. And look at the black uniform swarm on this guy. You can't even see that yellow jacket. That's what I want to see from this defense. That's exciting right there. Great job. Great job. Second of four, 624 in the first. Let's look at this run again, right? Another inside run. Let's look at the blocking. Watch this. Great job. Great patience right here by Don Chaney to make a very explosive play. Let's look back at this deal and watch his patience. Look at it. He's got it. Now, the, the, the hole has not identified itself yet. Chop his feet. There it is. Here's my escape route. Let's get up out of here. Bingo. Hit it. Great job by Mario Noah. Clean that deal up. Great job. Great job. First and 10. Some more exciting defensive play right here. 353 in the first. I mean, when I talk about my man De uh, Dean going down the line right here, number 58. Look at him roll this thing down the line. Fighting off, working, 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 making a play. Look at all the defensive line. Nigel Lee Kelly checks. Make sure there's no boot action. All right, he's clean. Let's ride. Look at this. For maybe a half a yard loss. Okay. Here we are. I'm like, super excited about this, and it kind of played it fast. It is third and three, right? The play action. Guy sneaks out the backfield. But look how fast to Corey Couch. Look how fast these three guys get to the ball. I'm going to play at full speed, then I'm going to go down and break it down. Watch how fast they get to the ball. Woo! That's showing some speed. Now, let's look at it. Let's break it down. You can tell they're in man because Takori Couch is going with them. But you see this here, right? I believe that's Porter. Here's what I love about it. Look at the aggressive and look at him setting the edge. Setting the edge. Five is on top of this deal. Takori Couch is inside. And, boy, they, hey, that's how you get to the ball carrier, baby. I'm loving it. All right, first and 10. We're going to make a great play here, but a bonehead ending. Let's look at it. Down the line, and let's talk about the run fit. Great job again. We killed him when it came to run game. I want to talk about this fit first. Watch the defense alignment right here. Boom. That's Chance Williams getting inside, taking care of that gap. But look at Cloyd fit right here, right off his behind. And then you got four, Keontre Smith setting it right here off the edge. Perfect. There's nothing here but this hole. And watch 23. Perfectly right here, peels off and gets it. And here go my man, Corey Flagg. Great job. He's going to get a flag. 
for taunting, but watch what he does. Not really a big deal, but look at the referee. You got to remember, it's also words can hurt you. All right. He probably, it wasn't so much of the action as much as what he may have said. Probably said it very loud and it probably was vulgar. And so the referee said, uh-uh. Throws up the white flag, I mean the yellow flag, and gives them the business, man. All right. Third and 11, time to get off the football field. Watch this deal. Ugh, got nervous at first. All right, let me break it down a little bit. This is going to be Kiko's interception. We lost contained a little bit. Great stunt right here, but he loses his footing, right? Yeah, he's got to come up this field, lose his footing. I don't know why Haynes King decided to turn around. He had it, but he turns around, makes a fatal error. Look at my man Bang getting to the ball. I ski. Let's go, baby. Kiko on the pick, baby. Let's go. 749 in the second for the pick. 503 in the half. First and 10. Here we go. Great play action. And right down the gut, baby. Oh. And here's the play. Here's the play I want to talk about. Let's look at the pass protection. This is super big right here. Watch right here, Henry Parrish. Yep, Henry Parrish. Watch him get in here and deliver this. Uh, great pocket. Look at the pocket. Love it. Everybody here is sewn up. There's no pressure on him. You're going to see this play. It's going to be a little corner route, a little smash concept. But I want you to pay attention to this guy. He's going to hurt us later. Not this particular player, but this corner. Insulating this corner route. But good throw right there by Tyler Van Dyke to make the play. Big play right there to... Uh, Jacoby George. But pay attention. Remember that play. Got to give Borigales his love. Right? Snap, hold, kick. Right down the gut, baby. Gives us 3 nothing right before the half. I can't believe I'm saying this about my cane. 3 nothing with Georgia Tech right before the half. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Third and 11. Let's get off the football field. That's exactly what we do. Look at Nigel e. Kelly. I mean, that's a give up play, man. Look at Nigel Lee Kelly. Worked him out. I mean, threw him out the club. Watch this. Mm, threw him out the club. Got inside and still made a great play right here. Come on, man. That's top notch. But look what's more impressive. All of the black jerseys around this dude. That's what I'm loving about this, this defense right now. Now, I got to say this about James. I say it every week. Look at that little extracurricular. And I watch him. Look at him. Going to bow up. But watch him put his hand on his face. Watch this. Sucker. <laughs> Watch him. Watch out. Sucker. <laughs> Come on, James. Cut it out. Third and three. We got to convert. Look at the pass protection. We going for the tub, baby. Let's go, Riley. Holler at me, baby. All right, let's, let's look at it real quick, man. I'm loving the pass protection here. Let's talk about it. Look at the pass protection. Everybody's here. They bring delayed blitz. No problem. We got it picked up. Right? He is comfortable back here. Going through a crossing route. Here's Riley just sitting in there. Big, strong guy. Pulls up out of one tackle. Drags another one for the touchdown. Forget the first down. I want the touchdown. Hey, McCormick, stop trying to steal the shine, baby. Nah, I'm just teasing. Good job, man. Great job. First and 10, 637 in the third. Here we go. Look at my man, Cam Kitchens, convert on this ball. I'm telling you, the way the defense play and the way they converted to the football is amazing. But let's look at this blitz right here. He has a great angle, right? Not letting him outside. Has to stop his feet. Yeah, you see it. But here it is. Watch him come. And it's actually covered. I want people to understand, this is actually covered. You got a guy here covering the vertical. You got Cam Kitchens on top of this. He's going to sneak out of here, which Cam plays both. But you see Kiko coming just a little bit late. But look at this. Uh, and then look at the form tackle. Everybody's on the camp. Get back up and get some more. Great. Look at all the black jerseys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven black jerseys to that football, man. Whew, I'm loving it. Second and seven. 29 left in the third. Here we go. I think you're going to see X Factor. Down the gut, baby. Uh, great throw. Again, great protection. Let's look at the protection. Everybody is hemmed up. They only bring in four. We got plenty in. Five on four. Run him up the field. Step up. Make a great throw. X splits the two receivers here, right? This guy doesn't take it deep. They got a cover two look here. 
He splits it, throws a dime, actually. Great job, man. All right, Georgia Tech is looking to score. Okay, not so fast, my friend. Look at James Williams. This is the James Williams I've been looking for. Look at James Williams come through this thing. He's going to come through. He's going to beat the puller, but he's going to spill the, the, the running back. Watch this. Takes the right arm, uh, knocks him into the dog on quarterback. And now look at all the black jerseys converting to the ball. Look at this. You can't even see this guy. That This is what makes Miami defense that night. They did an excellent job. I have to be very honest uh, for overall. All right, here we go again. Third and six. They trying to score, trying to take. They got the lead right now, but they trying to punch it. Not so fast, my friend. Not so fast, my friend. Look at this off the edge. They stunt. I mean, they, they shift. They come straight down the line. Look at Ruben Bain. Doesn't go up the field, comes right down the line, makes a tackle there for maybe a half a yard gain, maybe a yard gain. It is now fourth and five. They forced to kick the field goal. Therefore, on line 17 to 10. All right, we got to push this deal. 10 26 in the fourth. Second and six. Look at the protection. I'm telling you, O line has gotten tremendously better. The pass protection, tremendously better. Down your gut. Uh, hit him again, baby. Let's go four. Unfortunately, he didn't make it in. He tried his best to get in, but he didn't get in. But here you go. You got the one on one. You can't see it from that angle. But he got it right over the top, outruns him. There it is. Off to the races. Like you said, his knee went down. And we'll see the next play here in a second. Loving this goal line package. You're going to see four is going to come across here with a kick out. Ended up kind of getting leg whipped, and I'll talk about this. But you'll see uh, uh, Henry Parrish kind of punch this deal in. I will say this to, to uh, Kobe Young. It's not stalk blocking, baby. Get up in there, punish him, and get him out the way. Can't stand up in here. These bodies whip around. Look at that. Oof, nasty. But good for him. He did come back in the game. Uh, but look at the push, man. Look at this push from this O-line. Look at this. Look at this wall right here. Riley, Riley Williams, McCormick. All you see is back of the jerseys. Look at this. Oh, loving it. Boy, turn the lights out on him. Great job. All right, first and 10 in the fourth. Another great play right here. Come on, man. Look at Dean, right? Beats this guy off, holds his ground, right? Another loss. They playing behind the stick, second and seven. Great. Again, another great job of playing within the integrity of the defense. And I've been talking about edges. It's going to come back to hurt us a little later, but right now they playing excellent. Second 11, 8.37. Mm, I ski, baby. Let's go. This is the James Williams I'm looking for, right? Got a great pass rush. Look at this. Protecting the edges. He's got to stay in the pocket, deliver the ball. But I got an end zone cut of this. I want you to see, I don't believe he, he never saw James Williams in this play at all. And I'm going to break it down and really explain. But look at this great run back. Let's look at this end zone cut right quick. All right. Here's James Williams sitting here. You're going to see, I believe this is Corey Flagg, showing like he's blitzing, but he's going to come right on the train tracks, which is the hashes. And he's actually, believe this or not, he's going to block the vision. You got to remember, the camera is higher than their vision. So imagine if you were down lower. Watch this. This is his read right here. He's going to see this read. I know he saw him pregame, kind of looks off. But when he looks down the middle of the field, look at this. He is in perfect line. So if you take the camera angle down a little bit, he probably is blocking James Williams and he doesn't see him. He's thinking, oh, he's got to step on him. He's got to step on Kiko. By this time, he's wound up through the ball and he never saw James Williams, the 6'5 safety. I know that sounds crazy, but just picture yourself probably about 10 feet lower uh, than the camera angle and he gets perfectly blocked off. Big shout out here to Boy Gallus. Right down, look at this. Right down the gut, baby, for a 39 yarder. Got to get a kick of some love. 623 in the first, another great play. I'm telling you, we played some good football. The freshman, Ruben Bain, putting in some work. Let's, let's look how he works him out, right? Coming off the edge again. Let's talk about it. Not really happy with this, but look at 44, working him out. 
Let's see the end zone piece of this deal. I mean, he worked him out. I see you, big dog. Look at this. Look at his center of gravity. He's standing straight up. He's got all the power using his leg. Now watch him extending. Oh, he's done. Look at his body. Looking like a question mark out there. He's done for. And before you know it, 44 is back there creating problems. Third and 15. You know what time it is. Let's get off the field, baby. Look at the stunt. Look how beautiful the stunt is. They come around. We work in the edges. Stay in the pocket. Great job. Mm, big hit right here by five. Big hit. Even if he would have caught it, he would have been short. But this lodged the ball. Great job right there. And that is the good. Now it's time for the bad. The bad. All right. We're here for the bad. Second and 10, 1038 on the clock. Oh, it's going to get ugly real quick. All right. Here we go. Quick throw. I kind of get what they're trying to do, but Tyler Van Dyke, if he doesn't bite, you got to keep the ball in your hand, man, and just get in there and get vertical. I don't know why you try to pitch this. He's not. If he bit on you, then yes, pitch the ball to Young, but he doesn't bite on you. Luckily, he didn't either pick this off or knock it out of his hands. Okay. Now we end up with a loss. Nine, just take it and burrow yourself through that, man. Bad job. And stop holding your head down. Tired of it. Tired of it. Help him up, at least. Help him up. Fourth and four. We've, we're going to go for it. Look at that. We're in the little fringe zone. I get it. But here we go. No, sir. Quick screen. Guy, it was too quick. You didn't even set it up. You just caught him through it. You didn't give him time to get through that. What, you scared of getting hit? Watch. Pitch. Look, you already in the throwing motion. Matt Lee's just coming out. He's got to set this block. Nobody's here to get him. I believe he, I believe actually he checked this at the last second. Watch. See him check it. I believe he's checking it because what should have happened is McCormick should have come through here and blocked this guy, right? Well, he can't block him because that's supposed to be on him. He should have blocked this corner. Maybe. I don't know. Catastrophe. Coach don't know what's going on. She whiz. All right, third and four. You always know we got to convert these deals. Not so fast, my friend. And the reason I put this as bad, just because, Riley, you got to catch this ball. Perfect ball placement. Hits him right in the hands, square in the hands. Let's go get some strong hands, catch that ball, so we can keep the chains moving, man. All right, third and five. Can't let him convert. We know we got to run a quarterback on our hands. Almost had him. But let's look at the D-line. Got too far out your lane. Now they brought a guy to chip you. There's nobody in here watching this guy on third and five. Too late for you right here. Got it. We need to be right where the ref is. We know we got a running quarterback, so let's make sure we take care of him. Make sure we always know where he is. First and 10. Uh, with 10.02 on the clock for the half. Again, inside run quarterback. I mean, I get it, right? They come in here to block. You got to go with your guy, but you got to go ahead and set that hole. There's nobody here for you. You got to come quicker than this, my man. Right here. Uh, who is that? James Williams. Come on in here, man. Come on in here. All right, let's take a look at it. Your guy is basically running down. Come on and feel it. Don't stand there. Come on, attach straight to him. Why? You're not worried about him faking it going out. You got James over the top. But as long as you hang out, it's going to make it harder for everybody else. Okay? Come on, guys. Let's work together. First and 10, 1454 in the third. Just unbelievable. 70 just get bombed out. Look at this. Getting, man, Peter roll back here. We get no push from 70. Therefore, he's the leak in the line. Now, Henry Perry trying to make something happen. Instead, gets slammed on his neck by 55 because we're not doing our job. And I'm really not liking this. I don't like when our guys get beat up like this and nobody's helping them up. Look, everybody just walking around. I'm getting upset. Help him up, 7. Help him up. Look, 9. Help him up. Third and six. Get off the doggone field. Nope. 
We don't get off the field. Why? Because somebody being a GDI. Now, a lot of people saw James Williams do this. See him hold his hand up? Not because he missed the tackle. He missed the assignment. Let's take a look at it. All right, it's cover two. He's flat, right? He's flat. This right here is the cover two guy. Look at James. You let him go. You let him go. That's why he put his hand up. Not because of the missed tackle. In the game, I thought it because he missed the tackle. Look, he put his hands up. Like, look, that's on me. That's on me. We can't have that. We cannot allow that. It's a cover two look here. It's only two guys. Got the triangle on them. One, two, and there's a deep third here. Come on, 20, what you looking at, baby? Get off the field. Perfect look at it. There we go. James looking in the backfield. Doesn't see, I think that's 13 or 12 breaking out. All right, here we go. First and 10, 455 in the third. Just unbelievable, man. Again, 20. Come on, baby. Come on, 20. All right, if nine is going to be this guy, he's got to take care of the dive. Fine. Right? You see he's attached. You got to come on with it. There's no other receiver. There's nobody for you to be worried about. Let's look at it. It's only one eligible receiver, two right here. Well, he gave the ball up the gut. That's taken care of. He has him. That's taken care of. Come on with it. I'm not saying it should be a tackle for loss, but it definitely shouldn't be this. Got to come with it, nine, uh, 20. First and 10, 235. All right. We up by three right now. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's look at this. Right here, 99, you blow it. Your guy blocks down. You should be blocked. You should be run, running in his hip, still in his wallet. Look, he blocks down. You run up the field. When you run up the field, it's far up the field. They teach you that in Pop Warner. Don't run up the field. Get down the line. This is your guy blocking on the linebacker. And you replace him by being in the hole with your, with your uh, shoulder square. If he pulls it, well, we got guys for that, okay? But instead, you're playing a guessing game. Look, I'm guessing, and you guessed wrong. Unbelievable. And when we play good, you see in the good, it is awesome. When we play bad, it's bad. <laughs> but when it get ugly, boy, oh my God. And that's it for the bad. Now let's get to the ugly. The ugly. All right, here we are to the ugly. Third and 13, trying to convert this deal. This is where, where the interceptions right here kind of start. Protection is not bad. There's no need to really rush this ball. Yeah, guys are kind of covered. No big deal, but the protection is good. There's nothing that should be uh, having Tyler Van Dyke, you know, pressed or under duress. Yeah, we want to convert it, but we're also in field goal range. That has to be in your mind. If it's not there, we still got a great kicker, right? You could have thrown it right here, but I'm going to tell you what he doesn't see, and I got an end zone cut of this deal. He never saw number one coming. Never saw him coming. Saw Tyler Van Dyke trying to take a knee out. Look at this. Swoop. <laughs> I see you, man. Let's look at the end zone deal of this. This is where this guy's coming from. As you can see, Tyler Van Dyke is looking this way for seven because he knows he's coming here and he's going to break it right through about this eye. Right? He's got it. He's got him, but he doesn't see him. He doesn't picture the, the pre-snap read. And one comes across, makes a great play, picks him off. But let's look what he had in front of him. Let's look at the vision. Look at this. It's not there. Okay. Also, I get it. You don't see the guy, so you think he's open. Also, you have an escape route. Look at this, all this running room right here. He would have turned into a blocker. No telling what could have happened. Third and goal, guys. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Again, here we go. Quarterback. You know the quarterback is a runner. You know he can run. I get it. It's four guys, but it's four on five, actually six on five. We got to help protect them. And again, it's too late. Touchdown in there. They take the score seven to 10. Second and 10, 247 in the third. Again, pass protection from, from my standpoint is awesome. Look at this. They got it hemmed up. 
five on four, no pressure, none of this. Remember that play I told you to watch out, that cover two play where he's going to insulate the route and he didn't do it on the previous one where he threw it to Jacoby George? This is that same play, but 18 plays it different. Watch this top view, right? Here we go. It's cover two here. He's going to be over the top. He's going to be sitting flat. He's going to actually run this corner route. Watch this. Now, last time he sat and this guy ran the corner route. See him insulate the route? TVD never sees it, but you have to anticipate that. Now, that route combination should make him come up, to be very honest, should make him come up to take care of this quick out. He has him, and yes, this route is open, but he never sees the guy insulating the route. That's why when he threw it the first time during the good, it was a good throw. You saw the guy come in a little late. Well, this guy played it a lot better. Before you know it, boop, got him. Off to the races. All right, third and goal. We could settle for a field goal in here, but nope. We let a dude just run Cloyd slap over a converted wide receiver. A converted wide receiver to running back says, you know what? I'm finna meet your linebacker in the hole, right? Ugh. They meet at the four yard line now. Four yard line. Hmm? Look at this. Nah, nah, player. Now that's what you call want to. That's what you call want to. A converted wide receiver. Come on, guys. But what happens? Why does this happen? I have to be honest. We're not getting to the football. We're trying. Kiko's there. I believe that's him. He falls off the tackle. You see James trying to get over. But we're not getting to the football. Look at us. Look at us. We're not helping. When we get to the ball, unstoppable defense. All right, third and seven, 426 in the game. We're down by four. Throws another interception. My goodness. I just thank God nine gave the effort to push him out because we ended up stopping them from getting a touchdown because I think if they get a touchdown, it was over. But let's take a look at this. TVD actually throws this ball. He comes here and he throws it behind him, right? Watch this guy. He's looking to the sideline right now. He don't even know the play. He's looking to the sideline. Turns his head. Boop. Here goes a gift. Gone. Luckily, he's slow. Go get him, nine. Go get him, nine. Ugh, great push out. Actually saved a touchdown right there. Let's look at it. Watch him look to the sideline. He don't even know the play. Now watch this throw. Bad ball, just a bad ball. Or if it was a bad route, they better get the communication right. But bad ball, okay? And of course, they kick it through uh, for the field goal there to make it 17. But again, big shout out to TVD on that for making the stop. Third and eight, 708 left in the game. Just, oh my God, guys. All right, so let's talk about this. They bring, they bring an overload on this deal, right? They're showing. And this is why I used to tell Tyler Van Dyke to put your body armor on. At some point, you're going to have to look down the barrel and take that shot to the face, dog. You're going to have to. Okay, they're showing right now. Pre-snap. One, two, three, four, five. Possible six, possible seven. Okay? You don't have a guy here, so he might be coming as well. But they're show oh, they showed it. Pre-snap. So you're showing at least seven. Well, he doesn't come. Okay? And I'm going to show an end zone cut of this. And they, he doesn't change the protection. He doesn't change the protection. And they're going to shoot a double A gap blitz here with a nose guard on the center so they can't slide off. Let's look at it from the end zone deal. All right, here we go. This is his point of view. He knows one, two, three, four, five, six, possible six, possible seven. Okay. Right now, you know that he's going on the route. You know that he's going on the route. So it's only six. You got to find out who that one guy is, right? And that's him right there. You got to make your throws. Throw it now. Throw it here. You got to throw it now. Get it out your hands. Don't take the sack. All right? They don't come off. They don't slide. You are responsible for this man. So some people got mad and said, well, coach, the tackle not blocking anybody. Well, it's a guy right here. Remember, he's gone. And he doesn't know if he's coming or not. 
So because he doesn't come, see him slide to him, perfect. Actually, that's not bad. But because he stays with him, what does he do? Comes back and helps. But Tyler Van Dyke has to know this is his hot guy. I got to throw this now. I got to be able to get this. I might get my, my face knocked off, but I got to throw that ball now because I am, in, I am responsible for that extra blitz that can't be picked up. Third and one. Now, here's where I want to go and slow down. And this is the whole Neil series. This right here is where the whole knee deal happens. I totally agree with us running the ball in this situation. Georgia Tech still has a timeout. We still have to get the first down. No problem whatsoever running this ball right here. And we convert it to a first down. Okay, got it. Remember, I put this on the ugly because I want to show the whole the evolution of this process. Notice, right? They got the first down. Here we go. That clock starts running, okay? They have not taken their time out yet. We're down to 123. Snap of the ball, we're at 123. Remember, we don't get any yards out of this deal. No problem. Georgia Tech is going to now take their time out. Georgia Tech now takes their time out. Here's what's important. The clock is stopped. You can't run any time off the clock until the ball snaps. No problem. No problem. Here we are. Right? Okay, you ran the ball. So be it. I wish you would have taken a knee, but you ran the ball. No problem. You know, as soon as he gets tackled, it goes to 40 seconds. See that? As soon as that ball snap, it goes back to 40 seconds, and it's waiting for the referee to wind the clock. This is the play clock, right? You notice, right? So that as soon as that play was over, the 40 seconds start. So if you take 40 seconds off of this, you'll see it. Watch it wind down. You don't have to snap the ball. 40 seconds have gone. It is now 35 seconds. This is where you should have taken a knee. It's third down. Take the knee right here. Third down. Take the knee. Okay, no need to run it. This is where the fumble happens. But if you have taken that knee, look at this. 40 seconds left on the play clock, no timeouts. And look at here, 28 seconds, right? Even if they would have taken a knee instantly and they start the play clock, it's still only 31 seconds. I just want people to understand. A lot of people weren't understanding what was going on, right? Let's just say they took a knee right there and they still started the play clock right back, right away. Well, they got 40 seconds to burn. It's only 33 on the clock, and they have no timeouts. This game is over. I understand. Oh, well, the refs cheated us. I get it. But this shouldn't have happened. And now we fumble the ball. Got the mighty no. All right, here we go. Let's talk about these last two plays. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we kept them in this entire game up until this last series, this last two plays, 99 yards rushing and 150 or so passing, passing some, somewhere. No, 75 yards passing somewhere in there. Here we go. Setting the edge. I love it. Yes. Look how we set the edge, make him step up, come around, walk him. He got to jump to throw this ball under duress. But again, to Corey Couch, GDI, gosh darn individuals, I'm going for the bat down, and nope, football gods make us pay. Now, I know Coach Coach uh, uh, Gidry, I guess, was probably saying, hey, I'm, I want to play, make sure they don't get the, the uh, field goal unit in. But, bro, as far as this is, I'm not worried about the field goal unit. I'm worried about stopping this ball. But anyway, they get in. Now, the clock stops because he was in bounds. It stops for a first down. So they're going to clock the ball here. You're not going to see it in this clip, but they're going to clock the ball. Let's look at the Corey Couch. Gets turned around and just under, undercuts the ball terribly. And eight makes a catch. God, B. All right, they have now clocked the ball. It is 10 seconds left in the game. And I want you all to remember this. I keep talking about edges, and I have to say in this game, defensively, we've done extremely well until this particular play. And I said, when you play different teams, it will make you pay. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Check this out. 
10 seconds left. Okay. Boom. Right here, Jafar Harvey. Why? Why, Lord? You run right down the middle of the guy. Just set the edge, partner. Just set it. Why look inside? Just come out here and set the edge. Look, he would have been sacked on the backside. If we could have stopped him from rolling out here, he would have been. Oh, come on, Jafari. Just set the edge, partner. Just set it. We had Najali coming on the backside, partner. All right. And also remember this. I don't care if they caught the ball. There was not enough time. They couldn't stop the ball. They couldn't stop the clock to get the field goal unit out there. Okay. Now, remember, the longer you let him go out here, the harder it is to cover. Unbelievable, bro. And we're going to look at the Cam Kitchen situation with Christian Leary. My man threw a bottle immediately. That's terrible, though. That's terrible, guy. I don't know who did that. That's terrible, man. Look at this bottle come flying in here. But anyway, let's look at the end zone cut of this dude. I think I got an end zone cut of this. Yep. All right, five comes up. Come on, Cam. I would love to talk to you and find out what made you come up, right? What made you come up? And again, why we don't have guys deeper? We should have had guys hit back here deep, deep, deep for whatever reason. One guy just sitting back here playing center fielder. That's what we wanted to do. And before you know it, and if y'all don't know, Chris Leary can run. And that hurt us right there, guys. And that is the ugly. As the saying goes, the game is not over until it's over. And the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets proved that to the Miami Hurricanes during the Miami Knights game. Hopefully they learned that lesson. Hopefully the coaches can put this thing together as they take on the UNC Tar Heels next week. This is the Good, Bad, and Ugly Film Review. And Coach Hazel catch at the 50-yard line. Peace.